Hi everybody, this is Chris Lettner at V-Technologies. Today we're going to take a look at the customized interface section of Starship. And this is where you can get into the integration to add some additional fields, both coming into the interface and then also in the right back to your ERP. You can access that by going to the setup menu and you're going to go down to financial system interface and get into the particular interface that you're using. Click on customize interface then you can customize this for both customers and sales transactions. Starship comes with a default set of maps that are built in. And you can see here in the tree view on the left hand side you have several different areas that you can map data to. With the new platform we've essentially opened up every field uh, that you can see on the user interface to be triggered from the host system. But you have a number of maps that are built in by default, typically the address information for the recipients, uh, the uh, account information, the customer contact, email address, phone number, all the usual fields that you need to get up and running quickly. You can see all those highlighted here in green. So if I click on one of these fields, I can see that I'm connected to my data source. And I have a list of different fields within my ERP that I can connect to. So those are built in by default. You also have the ability to set a default value as well. So I can click on one of my open fields here. And from my field mapping source, I can select a fixed value, and then I can plug in whatever value I want here. We're also going to take a look at mappings that have value translations. So a typical mapping would be the ship via code. So here I'm pointed to my ship method in my ERP. I can click on the blue link here to open up the value translations. On the left hand side you'll see all the various fields that we have loaded in our ERP for the ship via code. What we can do is a value translation on that. We can take each of these different carriers and service levels and translate them to the corresponding service on the Starship side. So you have a drop down menu here of all the different values for services that you can match them up to. In this example we're going to ship a collect or bill to recipient shipment where we're going to bill the customer's account number and we'll pull that preference directly over from our ERP. So when I punch in my order here, Starship will read that based on the value translation and go grab the account from the customer card. If we click over here on the shipment tab, we can see that the appropriate billing preference and account number have come over from our ERP. So in closing, now we can see that the value translations have come through, bringing over the appropriate billing type and the account number directly from our ERP. From here, we're also going to take a look at the customizations that can be done on the right back in Starship. So you can also pick which fields you want to send back to your ERP through the notes. We'll get back into setup and select our financial system interface, customize interface and sales transactions. And at the bottom of your tree view here, you have the right back setup. If I click on that button, this gives me some settings here that I can create for both freight and parcel shipment. So you can have different types of information go back and forth between the ERP for both freight and parcel shipping. You can easily modify the notes. This has some standard information that comes out of the box. But you can delete fields if you wish. You can simply highlight here and delete that field. You can change the order of appearance. You can also highlight the tags here next to each field value and label that however you wish it to show up inside of your ERP. We're going to add some new fields. These can be easily selected here from the drop-down menu. We're going to add our package contents. So we're going to get to our pack fields. We're going to add in the items. And then also the item quantities. Here we're also going to enter the shipped quantity of the product as well. We're also going to add the department field. I 
I'll say OK to that. We'll save our changes. And then we'll process the shipment and take a look at the notes right back. So as I bring this over, I'm going to pack my goods into a box. And then this way, I can reflect the packed quantities back in the notes. So I can see I have my two boxes here. And we'll show the item distribution between multiple containers in our notes. We're also going to select the department. When I process this now, we'll insert all that data back into the order notes. We'll minimize Starship here and take a look at our sales order. When I open my notes field here, we can see those additional fields that we've added to our notes. So we have the department here, along with the other information that was built in by default, along with the package level tracking information and a description of the goods and quantity of each product that was shipped out. That's notes customization for Starship.